This episode is brought to you by Savory Vietnam. Savory Vietnam is located in Denver, Colorado at 2200 West Alameda Street. Whenever I'm in Denver, Colorado, the one place I love eating Vietnamese food at is Savory Vietnam. Go check them out. And now, on to the show. All right. There's no way of doing this pretty. You just gotta go all in. What's up everybody? Calvin Bowie of CalvinEatsVietnam.com and today we're back in Saigon, Vietnam. In front of me is literally just a cart on the side of the road. With no name or branding, all I can say is that she makes some of the best Moon Ryu in the city. Now you're probably wondering, what is Moon Ryu? Moon Ryu is a noodle soup made with crab, pork, and tomatoes. It has a very rich and savory broth. Today, I'm going to take you guys to the most humble, the most delicious, the most amazing Moon Ryu spot that I go to on a weekly basis. So let's turn the camera around, let me show you guys this little carton. And when you're in Vietnam, I hope you guys give her a try because she's really, really that good. Let's go. Live behind decisions I chose. Peaks feel good and those valleys get low. Chains for the tires and the rain, hail, snow. It's like this everywhere that I go, everywhere that I... A lot of motherfuckers go down, don't come up. Voice in my head, don't shut up. Blew an opportunity, I tried to call back, but she hung up. Anything to try to get the one up. Run it. Back of my head, the thoughts killing me. I don't have a second to spare, well, not willingly. Way too much effort in people who not feeling me. Equivalent of burning myself with hot spilling tea. I'm talking like Jerry, man, what you gon' do? I need a pick up, like half court, two on twos. Guess it's just another obstacle I move on through. While I'm looking at the runway that I flew on to. Ooh. Left me out to dry, but I came back. Boy, you gotta know we don't play that. Boy, you gotta know we don't play that. Can't check me. No offhand, that boy was born lefty. Crunch time's about how you move when you're tired. But be careful putting fuel on a fire, cause you the one that's gotta live behind decisions you chose. Peaks feel good, but those valleys get low. Chains for the tires in the rain, hail, snow. It's like that everywhere that you go, everywhere that you. A lot of motherfuckers go down, don't come up. Voice in your head, don't shut up. Blew an opportunity, you tried to call back, but she hung up. Anything to try to get the one up, run it. It's all independent, the fans backing it. Real hard. Right, it is time to play Guess What Is In The Sauce Jars. On the right, let's see what it is. Oh, shrimp paste. So this beautiful, swashy, oh, look at that color. Dang, it's just purple. Shrimp paste on the right. Next, chopped chilies. Can't do wooden reel without chopped chilies. And of course, Lime wedges. In this bowl, and there's everything in here. There is pig trotter, then there is some coagulated uh, duck blood, some fried tofu, tomatoes, ja, which is steamed pork loaf, pork skin, this is ja hail, escargot, which is up sea snails, and of course, there is no wooden reel without reel. Crab meat, pork mixed together, and becomes a little patty. And uh, of course you have rice noodles down below. Look at that. Beautiful rice noodles. So this restaurant is literally just a cart on the sidewalk. This is an alleyway to somebody's house. This lady serves some of the best moon ryu in town. And this entire bowl is only two dollars. When it comes to moon ryu, because the flavors are so... They're so what? They're, they're very intense. You're gonna get a lot of seafood flavors. You're gonna get the crab flavors, the tomato, uh, the pork. And so this broth here is going to be really flavorsome. There's something about Wunryu that is so magical. The broth is clear in color, but it's so rich and deep in flavor. Usually with all my soups, I tend to put things on the side, but here, for Bun Ryu, I want to start adding in more strong flavors. So, I'm going to do a big spoon, two spoons, of Mam Tau. I'm going to do one spoon of chili. And because this is a very uh, pungent dish, I'm going to use some lime to really bring up the city. Again, I don't always put in a lot of um, 
sauces into my soups. But this one, this one really does well when you do add in more flavors. All right, there's no way of doing this pretty. You just gotta go all in. Grab some noodles, grab some broth. Oh my God, that is so good. That is so intense. The shrimp paste really exemplifies this dish. Try some of the um, sea snail. Mm, definitely all about the texture. Let's try to get another big bite of this stuff. I want to get these greens fresh. I want to cleanse the palate. These noodles have really soaked up all that flavor. And finally, the pig's trotter. Fatty, gelatinous. It's been cooked so long that the bones just pop out. You can get yaw hail, you can get pig's trotter in your bunryu. It really makes all the difference. This soup is so good. I forgot about all the other components. We have for $2 to have all this in a bowl. You can't beat it. Now, I don't usually do this, but this broth is so good. I don't want to waste anything. And also little bits on the bottom here. God. You have not seen me do that on a show before, but that's how good this Munru is. But today, I really wanted to sit down, kind of give you a, an insider's look. This cart is literally made of some leftover steel and a few pieces of glass that have been glued together. These tables are just plastic stools and chairs. There is no AC. There probably isn't even a bathroom here. The restaurant is kept shady by some mismatched umbrellas. These are the kind of places that you're not gonna find on Google. People like her who really make this country an amazing place. That bowl of Munryo for $2. It had everything you ever wanted inside a bowl. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, comment if you ever had Munryo. If so, what did you think about it? Make sure you check out my website, CalvinEatsVietnam.com for more places to eat at in Vietnam. There's one thing that you guys can do to really make a difference. It's go out there, support small businesses. It's places like this place it literally has no name to it. I'm gonna have a hell of a time trying to put an address in this video, but I'll find a way to do it. Actually, what I'll do is I'll leave the, I'll put the address in for the florist across the street and then look across the street and give this place a try. With that being said, my name is Calvin Boo, AKA Captain Charisma. I will see you later. Peace.